Hello, thank you for joining me. This is video number nine in our series, uh, How to Create a Title Block in uh, Revit Architecture, and video number four in regard to how to make a logo in uh, AutoCAD. So, what I'd like to show you in this video is, uh, you know, first of all, we're going to finish this up, but I'm going to show you some pitfalls in regard to design, designing something in AutoCAD. The advantage of designing something in AutoCAD, as I've mentioned before, is that uh, it's a little bit easier to sketch and put in text. It's a little bit harder to do that in Revit Architecture and try to separate that from the family you're designing that stuff in. So, you know, we'll continue on with AutoCAD, but let me show you some pitfalls with it. Uh, one thing about AutoCAD is that what you see is not always what you're going to get. WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. This is WYSI and WYG, what you see is not what you're going to get sometimes if you're not careful. You want to make sure that when you put in some text that you follow some very basic rules. You want to make sure you stick with the default alignment. If you want to make sure, if you want to center your text, don't choose the center button over here, as I may have alluded to before, but stick with the default setting and manually uh, adjust it yourself. Also, any sort of formatting, you kind of want to avoid the formatting over here, which is the distance between the, the lettering. You want to make sure that you don't do that. So. Yeah, enough said there. I do want to make my text a little bit bolder, so I am going to pick a different font. Arial Black makes it a little bit uh, thicker. And I'm going to go ahead and manually adjust this. Move that over a little bit, and if I get that where I really like it, I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And move it down just a little bit. And of course I'm going to take this text, Control A, selects it all, and type in Innovations. And manually center this. So go to the move button or just grab this uh, grip and move it over somewhere around there. Looks good. And that looks pretty good to me. Take it all, convert it back to white. So remember, you change it up here to magenta where you can change it back. We can change it back to white down here. Don't choose gray, choose white over here or go by layer because the zero layer is already white. So if you make it by the layer, it'll, go, it'll convert it back to white. And let's go ahead and save it. File save as. I think I called this video three, so I'm going to stick with that. Hello, being slow today. There you go. Video three, go to save. Yeah, we kind of want to replace it. So we're all set, ready to go. That's our other one. Control tab allows you to scroll between different files that are open, but what I really want is my Autodesk, uh, my Revit architecture uh, folder. So let's do this. You probably still have a logo up here for Revit. Let's not do any unnecessary advertising without being paid for that. Let's put in our own logo in instead. So we'll delete that one. And go to Insert, Import CAD. Pick the logo that you like. And yes, it's saying that there's nothing in paper space. Duh, we didn't put anything there. And you want to import something for model space? Yes, please. And that's what it is. Now our logo is 13 inches wide, so it is really pretty big. Let's do a couple things. Let's go ahead and uh, rotate it. And then scale it. So we did a rotate button, now we're going to scale it. We don't usually scale things in uh, Revit, we haven't done so yet. Well, let's go ahead and do a reference. What it's looking for is two references, very similar to what we did in AutoCAD. We choose this as one reference, from that endpoint to that endpoint, now we're going to shrink it down. And that should be pretty close. Let's go ahead and move that. If we just click on the, the element itself, kind of move it to where we want it to be, it still needs to be shrunk down a little bit, so let's do that again. Let's go to the scale command. Pick our references, maybe from there down to there. And something like that looks like it should be pretty good. One more time, one more iteration. Let's scale that down. We want to make sure we can get some text under here. So let's use our arrow keys, kind of move that into a place that we like. And what we like to do now is move this line and this line down here in order to accommodate the block, you know, the border that's going to go around our uh, logo. Before we do that, let's take these two lines and move them down. This area in here is called a revision text box. What it does is every time you make a, a revision to your design, to your plans, that other people have seen, you want to make sure you have a revision table in there that tells them when you made a revision and why you made that revision. We're not going to make any of those uh, changes in our design here. It's beyond the scope of this class. But uh, you do need to have that revision table in there, so we're going to go ahead and keep that. Now, we're going to click in these two lines, and we do that, and when you click in those two lines, make sure you press the control key at the same time. Select them at the same time. A little bit easier to do that, and you'll notice that if you hover over one of those lines, you'll get a move symbol. Let's go ahead and take advantage of that, and with our left mouse button pushed, let's move that down. And that, uh, yeah, it looks like it's pretty well centered, top to bottom, and left to right. 
Let's add some text. Home tab. Text. Let's pick a one eighth of an inch Arial and just kind of click out here in the middle of nowhere and type in our address. So mine is PO Box 801. Kittitas. K I T T O T A S. Comma Washington space 98934. Enter. Phone number 509. 8992732 couple space there and an EDI 3DI.com that's a requirement for this uh, assignment you want your name, address, phone number and website address let's go ahead and center that click on that, rotate it we already have uh, the move symbol embedded into our text blocks, box move that into place. We have to make some minor adjustments. The arrow keys are good for that. Maybe just one over here. Oh, what's this? PO slash box. How about just PO box? And that should be set. There's your logo in place after it's been designed. Text associated with your address, phone number, and uh, website address. Might want to change the revision table a little bit, bring that line down so we have a little bit more room. And make sure everything's uh, good. The only thing we have left to do, and I'm going to leave this to your own devices, make sure that all the text in here is correct per the website. So thanks for joining me in these series of videos, and we will see you in class.